Hi, in this tutorial we're gonna have a look at uh, how to create animated banner using Photoshop CS4. So if we go to our Photoshop and create a new file, uh, give it a name of the banner, with let's create a document of about 800 pixels by 800 pixels and click OK. First thing we need to decide how large our banner is going to be. My banner will be about 560 pixels by 100 pixels. So if we open the info panel, use our selection tool and let's create something about 560 by 100. Sorry, 560 by about 100. Okay, there we go. Now if we go to layers, create a new layer and fill this one with the white color, deselect, go to the background and fill it up with the black color. Now this is our stage and this is everything outside of the stage. So first thing we're gonna create, we go, we're going to duplicate this layer which we've, ju uh, which we've just created and we are going to fill it up with some nice gradient. Let's go to the gradients and select something perhaps gray, light gray. This one looks fine. Reverse and we've got the, the, th the first stage. Okay, now if we put some text uh, on top of it, let's say 20% discount on all products. Perhaps we can add some colors to it as well. Um, okay, if we go to the character panel and use some perhaps this kind of bluish color something like this that's all fine uh what else we can add some some nice brush some some element uh moving behind the text so let's create another layer under the text layer go to the brushes uh, i've downloaded quite a few actually from the internet there are, there are plenty of different ones actually available freely available so you can choose something you're gonna you're gonna like I'm sure um, let's use well, I don't know perhaps this one um, let's resize it slightly something like this some nice bubbles behind so that's all fine now if we select all these three uh, layers without the first one we've created and on the Mac let's uh, press command G on a on a on a PC it will be control G to group them under one folder and turn it off now if we duplicate this layer again and add another gradient slightly different than the, the, the than the previous one let's give it something dark or perhaps something like this Okay, now again, some text and visit our store today or whatever else you might come up with. Visit our store today. That's okay. Let's change the font color to perhaps a little bit lighter. That's all fine. Again, let's create another layer under the text layer and put some some nice shape on top of it. Um, perhaps some some bubbles like this, or like that. Okay, this time if we go to the same layer and change the col uh, color overlay because we we're going to be working on a dark background, perhaps if we. We can use any kind of color you li really want, but I think this bluish one is gonna look quite nice. Okay, um, again, select these three new layers, Command G or Control G to group them under one folder. 
Now we are ready to start animating actually the whole thing. Uh, if we go to window and choose animation, this will open the animation panel. As you can see, animation panel by default will display our group folders plus any separate layers we have within the layers uh, panel. We're going to start with a group one because this is our first uh, group of uh, elements we want to show on the within the animation. We can close the, the layers. Uh, first thing, we're going to open the, the text layer and start with the position. If we click on the position stopwatch, it's going to create a new keyframe. Now we're going to move the, uh, the indicator a little bit further. We're going to create another keyframe. And now we go back to the previous one and move the text completely off the stage to the right. Now if we move our current time indicator, you see that our text is moving from one frame to the other. That's all fine. We want this to last for about three, four, five frames perhaps. Or maybe that's a little bit too long. Let's let's make it four frames. Uh, let's create another stopwatch, another keyframe. And we want this text to be moving slightly not too much but but very slowly actually then a few frames further we create another keyframe and this time we want the text to be completely gone off the stage so we move it uh, to the left okay that's all fine if we now test it so move the current time indicator to the left and uh, press the space bar you'll see it's moving a little bit you can read the text and now it's moving off the stage. I'm not entirely sure if it's not a little bit too long. I think if we select these two keyframes and move them a little bit to the left, I think it's gonna be a little bit better because we don't want this animation to last for whatever how long. People might, get, might just get bored very quickly. Okay, um, I think if we move it to three frames, to about three frames, it's gonna be just what it should be. I think that's even too long. Okay. Okay. Three. And gone. 